What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So, Terra Luna Classic, when I first invested into this position, um, I knew that we were going to see a lot of success as an investor and that I would be able to gain thousands of dollars from it. Did I think tens of thousands of dollars? I was hoping for it. Um, did I think hundreds of thousands of dollars? I'm hoping for it. Or millions of dollars? I'm hoping for it. But before that, before I decided to invest into it, um, it was at a level of a $40 billion market cap. You saw Terra Luna Classic, you saw USTC, they were both thriving. You saw the algorithm in place, you know, uh, USTC or UST at the time was pegged to a dollar. And a bunch of people asked me to buy into Terra uh, Luna at the time. That's what it was. Um, so they told me to invest into this play and I was like, I'm not going to invest into it. And some people actually have brought that up recently and said, you weren't even going to invest into Terra Luna. I have, you know, clips of you saying that you were not going to invest into Terra Luna. Um, and the reasoning was simple, right? I said that I wasn't going to invest into Terra Luna at that time. It was a $40 billion market cap. Things were running. It was a way higher price. And it just, to me, wasn't worth it at the time. And I looked at it as an investor not looking at what it could be worth, right? A $40 billion market cap for this cryptocurrency that everybody was like, it just came out of nowhere. It's an algorithmic stable coin, you know, or algorithmic, um, you know, project to where, um, you know, you're pinned to a stable coin there and, you know, it has governance and, you know, uh, blah, 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 right? A bunch of different stuff. And, uh, as I was looking into it, I was like, well, $40 billion is a lot. So I'm not going to sit here and invest into something when it's kind of at its peak in how things are growing. So yes, I did say that I wouldn't invest into Terra Luna at the time because it was worth so much. Um, and as an investor, it didn't make sense for me to get into it. If I would have bought in at a $1 billion market cap, that would make sense. But a $40 billion market cap, that really gives me limited room for growth while there's so many other options that are out there. Well, as I saw Terra Luna that fell down to a way lower level, the opportunity was open. I bought into that position, saw the opportunity, gained a lot out of the opportunity, and currently have uh, still realized and unrealized gains within the position. I invested $43, and I have a total of 4,800 realized gains and about $5,000 of an unrealized gain, so a total of 9,800 um, of, you know, unrealized and realized gains. Um, and obviously it can go a lot further with the ones that are unrealized because it's at such a low price. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to uh, clear that up because I saw some comments that were talking about that. But in this video, I kind of want to talk about is Terra Luna Classic now worth $60 billion, because we all know that $60 billion will get us to that penny level. So I wanted to talk about this and kind of bring it full circle, just because it got up to a $40 billion market cap, can it get back there again, and then add, you know, 20 more billion to it. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about some of the other links that are in the description uh, that does help out the channel as well. Um, also, we hit 199,000 subscribers today, and I'm very, very excited. Thank you guys for getting me to this point. Um, and I can't wait until we can get to 200,000 subscribers. It's been a long road from 197 to uh, 199 because it's been taking a while because the markets have been down. Um, but I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. Anybody that has unsubscribed, I still appreciate you for being here uh, to some extent, right? Um, so if you want to be a part of the 200K club, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It does help out. But anyways, let's talk about Terra Luna Classic, which currently is at uh, 0.00008279. It's up 1% on the day, seeing it at about a $500 million market cap with about $23 million worth of volume. Um, we are looking at the circulating supply and seeing that at 5.8 trillion or a uh, total supply of 6.8 trillion. If we needed to get to a penny or drop two zeros, um, technically three zeros. If we wanted to drop three zeros and get to a penny, we could do that. 
And if we did that, you know, we would now see this at a level, um, you know, one of, of one cent, and we would see this at a 58 a billion dollar market cap or to round things up a 60 billion dollar market cap so the question is can this get back to a 60 or get to a 60 billion dollar market cap being what it is right now um and honestly i believe that this can easily get back to a 50 or 60 billion dollar market cap because of one main reason and the main reason is not you know, focusing on utility there um, is not focusing on, you know, what this token will do or what this coin will do by itself, but understanding the community and how much they care about it. Uh, community goes a long way. We've seen that time and time again. Community is what build up Dogecoin to be worth $100 billion. So to see something like Dogecoin being worth, you know, 90 to $100 billion and getting up to a point to where it can possibly reach one uh one dollar um is is crazy and then also seeing something like terra luna classic which could have the same uh momentum could have the same push um could have the same drive especially since it is a community-led token it is something that's you know driven by governance that's something that can push it up a lot further now i think the thing that kind of holds us back from seeing you know burns and um you know short-term growth uh for the last year is probably the fact that we are indecisive on where we're going so there's a lot of different decisions that are going in there but with the fact that those uh people that are you know still making those decisions even if they don't go their way we're still solid on what this position can be like me i'm a big fan of burns right and we did not we saw the burns for a little bit they gave up on those burns i didn't give up on the project i still believe in the project i still believe in this community that we will turn it around and go the right way and it it's that that really creates that strength and people will say hey that's you know a little bit cheesy that um the community is the thing that's going to drive this to uh you know above and beyond and I do think that that's the case because, again, you see Dogecoin, you see Shiba Inu, you see Pepe, you see all these things that um, at one point were worth multiple billions of dollars, besides Pepe almost being worth multiple billions. Uh, but seeing these things that are worth multiple billions of dollars without any type of use case, but could create a potential use case as the community wants to develop one. So uh, for Terra Luna Classic, you know, you already have the um, you know, the Terra or the station wallet to where, you know, you end up getting the ability to stake. You have all these things that you actually don't have in things like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. Um, so with that alone, that gives it a little bit more of a, a push to be worth a lot more while also, you know, um, looking at the overall potential and getting back to, um, you know, the algorithmic um you know community that you do have algorithmic algorithmic projects that you do have seeing the uh, governance token and seeing you know the stable coin and hopefully that can find a way back to where we need to get it to um and different um different proposals that are coming up whether it's to burn off the supply by staking rewards burn off the supply by transactions seeing um you know the repeg uh, potentially burn off a lot and then get it back to a form of normalcy. I feel like that can push it above and beyond by itself. So to answer the question, do I believe it can get back to a 60 billion or get to a $60 billion market cap, get back to a $40 billion market cap? Yes, I do believe it can get there. When we see a bull run in the actual crypto market and we see that trickle down to altcoins, Terra Luna Classic will probably be one of the largest altcoin movers that we are going to see because of that larger community, because of the people right so anyways guys hit that like button no matter how cheesy this sounds hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell for more videos like this one let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below i'm checking more and more comments nowadays i am trying to delete a lot of the scam comments so really be careful for anybody that's trying to impersonate me i will not ask you for any money i will not tell you to sign up for whatsapp i i just won't do any of that stuff just you know comment down below let me know what you think and um, make sure you see the check mark by the name and you'll know that is me. So um, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.